Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new on my channel, I am Shaima and on this channel I teach you German language as well as I talk about different topics related to Germany. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will be very very thankful to you. And without any further delay, let's start with the video for today. In this video, we will be talking about separable verbs. They are known as trennbare verben in German. As already the name says, we will be talking about verbs which can be separated or divided. Here you can see a list of uh, prefixes which I have written down for you. These are the uh, mostly used prefixes in German language. We have ab, an, auf, aus, bei, ein, los, mit, nach, her, hin, vor, weg, zu and zurück. The important thing is to know that these words are also, some of these words are also prepositions in German but you should not get confused because we also have of as a proposition but we also have of as a prefix. So over here we have a list of prefixes which are very common in the German language. Over here I have made a rough diagram for you so that you understand what I mean when I say that the verb has to be divided or separated. And I think it will be a little more easier for you to grasp what I am saying looking at the diagram over here. So for an, the example which I took is Einladen. Einladen means to invite and as you can already see the word has a suffix, uh, sorry prefix. Here, uh, right after the prefix ein, you have to divide the verb. Then you are left with two words ein and laden. The important thing is that you have to conjugate the word laden. You do not do anything with the ein. You just write it at the very end of the sentence. Ein stays as it is and goes at the very end of the sentence no matter how long the sentence is. So, once again, I repeat for you. We took the word einladen as an example. Einladen means to invite. You divide the verb right after the prefix which means ein which leaves you with two words ein and the laden. The thing which has to be noted here is that the laden needs to be conjugated according to the personal pronoun or whoever the person is who is talking the, according to the speaker of the sentence. In the first example we have ish that's why it's lade ish lade Lisa ein I am inviting Lisa in the second sentence we have er that's why you say late er late Lisa ein he is inviting Lisa I hope it um, you did understand what I meant by separating the verb I do have more examples in the later video so stay with me till the end of the video and I hope um, you will understand it a little better Another example is anrufen. Anrufen means to call. And here the prefix is an. So you divide the verb right after an which leaves you with an and rufen. And because the speaker of the sentence is ish again, you have to conjugate rufen to rufe. Ish rufe. And at the very end of the sentence, you simply put the an. Ich rufe an. Here, the example I took is einkaufen. Einkaufen is another very common trennbare verb. Einkaufen means to do shopping or to shop. We divide it right after ein, which leaves us with ein and kaufen. And then you have to conjugate the kaufen according to the person who is speaking. Here in the first sentence, I have got ish. That's why ish kaufe. And at the end of the sentence, you have ein. 
and in the second example I took a via via means we and that's why you have via kaufen and no more kaufer because we are talking about via that's why we have got a kaufen and the end of the sentence you simply have a ein I hope it got more understandable for you now after all these examples the next example is or the trend bar web is fernsehen it is also one of the very common mistakes which people do because fernsehen it is to watch TV it's not the TV but it's to watch the TV it's so this one word contains the watching of the TV in itself that's why it is a trend bar verb so here you have to divide the verb after fern so you are left with fern and you are left with zehen and then as i told you the first part of the trend bar verb goes at the very end of the word and you do not have to do anything with it so you simply write the fern at the end and then you have to conjugate the zehen according to the speaker of the sentence. And in this sentence, we have got a ish. So ish zehe fan. I am watching TV. Ish zehe fan. If it was via, we would have said via zehen fan and er zit fan or du zist fan. You have to conjugate the second part of the verb according to the personal pronoun or the speaker of the sentence suhören suhören is to listen and here you again have to divide after the su which leaves you with a su and a hören su goes at the very end of the sentence as it is and hören needs to be conjugated according to the personal pronoun or the speaker of the sentence and you have ish her su. Su machen. Su machen is to close. Ich mache die Tür. Su. Here I have additional information. Die Tür. Die Tür is the door. Ich mache. Here again divide the trennbare verb after the su. Su goes at the very end of the sentence. Again you can see there is nothing exceptional over here. Everything stays the same. In the first place you have the personal pronoun. In the second you have the second part of the verb. But you have to conjugate. This is the important part. And then you put all the additional information here. And the end of the sentence, you have the sec or uh, the you have the first part of the trend verb. So this, if you once understand what you have to do with the verbs, it is very very easy, very very easy to use them in sim in simple sentences. Like the first position is always the personal pronoun. The second position is always the second half of the trend bag of verb. Then comes all the extra information. And at the end of the sentence, you have the first part of the trend bag of verb. And you do not have to do anything with it. Just put it as it is. That was it for today's video. I hope you liked my video and I was able to clear all the confusion about Trenbara Verben. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to leave a comment with suggestions or things you want me to talk about in the upcoming videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.